What is up everybody? Polly P here from PK's Bike Shop and I am joined with none other than PK herself, Parker Kate, and of course my excellent son Maximus Paisani and today we are going to teach you how to fit yourself on the bike. A little background, I was watching Max the other day ride the Tour of London, and I noticed that his positioning really could use some work. And as an ex-professional cyclist, I kind of have an eye for that. So in order to help me today, I've got a gogiometer, and I have a plumb bob, along with a whole set of Allen keys. So with these three tools, I'm gonna try to get this guy dialed in so he can go a little bit faster, easier, and be a lot more comfortable and aero, more aerodynamic on the bike. So Max, are you ready for this? I actually am. I'm, I want to be comfortable on the bike. His hair looks perfect. How could he not be ready for this? Parker's ready, I'm ready, Max is ready. Let's get right into this. Okay, so to start with, let's first take a look at Max in a little closer detail. This will be the before adjustment picture. I have adjusted a little bit in the past, but not in depth. So let's just take a closer look at him. Okay, so the first thing we gotta look at is his knee angle here. We wanna have proper extension. We don't want it, him to be too crammed up and be losing power, and we certainly don't want his butt bouncing up and down because he's too hyperextended. So what we're gonna use is this gogiometer. This is gonna measure his angle, and I'm gonna try to get him at uh, you know, basically 30 to 42 degrees uh, at this knee joint right here. So first thing we gotta do is, we need to have his foot go all the way down to the perpendicular zone here with his knee, knee up a little bit. Okay, great, Max. Just keep it right there. Next, I'm going to get in here and try to figure out what angle this is at. Okay, so right here, as you can see, I'm going to look at the number here, and he's at 45 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift his seat up just a little bit and try to get it in that 30 to 40 zone. So go ahead and sit up, Max. Okay, Max, go ahead and sit back down. All right, so now I raised it about that much, just a little bit, and watch what happens. Such small increments can make such a huge difference. And boom, we're right at 40 degrees. So, Max, go ahead and start pedaling. And I gotta say, right off the bat, that looks a lot better. He looks like he has proper extension. He's gonna have more power a lot easier now. Max, how does that feel? It feels a lot more comfortable. I feel like I have more control, and I feel my leg isn't as crammed as it used to be. Okay, cool. Okay, so next up, we need to measure his reach and right away I can tell that he is he's reaching too far so two things got to happen I either have to slide the seat forward if there's room to do that or give him a shorter stem so one way to check this out is to very simply and easily ask your rider to tell me what they see as far as the top of this bar and the axle of the wheel and if they're if they're blocking each other out that's good if one's too forward or too back, then, then we make that adjustment. So Max, go ahead and tell me right now, what do you see with your hand right here, please? Yeah, right here. Uh, is in relation to the handlebar here, in relationship to the front axle of the wheel, where do you see the axle? I see my handlebars is a tiny bit in front of the axle. Is a tiny bit in front, okay, gotcha. So if we push him a little bit more forward, that will help that line up better. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Max get off the bike and I'm going to push that saddle forward a little bit.
Okay, so what I did basically was I pushed the seat all the way forward. I basically smashed the seat forward and I made sure it was nice and level to the ground, meaning the tip wasn't up, so we'd fall off the back of the seat, and the tip wasn't too down, so we'd fall forward off the seat. It's perfectly level. Max, let's go over now what you see from here. As far as the top of this handlebars go and this axle right here, what are you seeing? I just see the top of the handlebars. So basically, mission accomplished. We didn't have to change the stem out. And as you can see, he's a lot more forward and he actually looks very good. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the plumb bob and see how his cleat positioning is in accordance to the axle. So that's up next. You will now be hypnotized. All right, just kidding. But, so basically, let's show you how this works. All right, so now Max has got to have this so the crank is totally parallel to the ground. And I'm going to take this plumb bob and I'm going to basically dangle it from his knee joint right here and see where it falls in relationship to the axle. Okay, so right away I can see that this shoe needs to be pushed forward more in order to accommodate that, so that's next. Okay, so by moving that cleat forward, I was able to get this plumb bob to dial in right to the middle of that axle, which is gonna provide him a little bit more comfort and a little bit more power, more efficiency, basically, if you will. So, let's have Max test it out. Max, go ahead and start riding. So there you have it folks, uh, your at home bike fit using three tools, my Allen keys, my plumb bob, and my go -geometer. Um And you really don't even need a go -geometer. Just just look for that angle and make sure that you have a nice extension and shooting for that 40 degrees. So Max, overall, what do you think? I, I feel like, uh, a lot more comfortable. I feel like I'm more extended and I feel like I'm a lot closer to my handlebars, so that's a plus. Yeah, good, and you're not reaching too much. Yeah. And overall comfort is better. Yeah. All right, so look for Max to maybe make, take a next stage uh, in the next race that he does with this new added bike fit. Um, but that's it. Very simple, but yet so important. Remember, when you're making adjustments to your bike, my biggest tip to you is even going that high or this high on your saddle can make such a huge difference. Um, but go to your local bike shop and I'm sure they can help you as well. If not, drop a comment below and I'll try to help you as many ways as I can. Thanks so much for watching and Max? And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Bing, bing, bing! See ya.